According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, some of the flexible, child-resistant bags of Procter & Gamble's liquid laundry detergent pods can split open near the zipper. The recalled products were made between September 2023 and February 2024 and sold as Tide Pods, Gain Flings, Ace Pods, and Aerial Pods. P&G explained, quote, while the product inside remains safe to use, we are voluntarily recalling a limited number of laundry pack bags and providing consumers with a replacement bag. Consumer Reports first warned people about laundry pod severe dangers over a decade ago. Every year, poison control centers continue to receive thousands of calls related to laundry pod exposure. And when you look at these laundry pods, they're squishy, they're fun to touch, they're colorful and look a lot like candy. All of these characteristics make them super attractive to a child. And these pods use highly concentrated detergents, putting children and cognitively impaired adults at serious risk. As early as 2012, CR called on manufacturers to make detergent pods safer and argued that outer packaging should meet federal standards for child-resistant packaging under the Poison Prevention Packaging Act. Every manufacturer has a responsibility to use appropriate product packaging to keep kids safe and to ensure its packaging is truly child resistance before it's in the homes of millions of consumers. In its recall notice, the Consumer Product Safety Commission urges consumers to immediately secure their detergent packages out of children's reach and contact P&G for a refund and replacement child resistant bag to store the pods. Andrea Flores, KCRA 3 News. And Consumer Reports does recommend households with cognitively impaired adults or children under six to skip laundry pods altogether. Instead, use liquid or powder detergent that can be kept out of reach. If you think someone has ingested one, just call the Poison Control Service for guidance.